Hey, what's up, everyone? This is a unboxing video of the ZTE Axon Seven. Um, I'm a bit late with this phone because it came out in uh, May of last year, but I just got my hands on it. So, um, for those of you who might not have heard of this phone, ZTE is another Chinese company. This is another phone with specs that are really, really good, like on par with the Samsungs and the LGs, but it sells for half the price. This phone sells for 400 US. You know, and it has a Snapdragon 820, um, 4 gigs of RAM, and actually Quad HD display, which is um, what a lot of uh, Chinese companies, when they put out phones, they don't have Quad HD. Like Xiaomi phones and OnePlus 3 are all 1080p. But personally, I don't think, I don't think like the human eye can see the difference between Quad HD and 1080p anyway, so it's a bit overkill. I mean, it's nice to have, but it's not a deal breaker for me. 1080p is pretty much good enough. Um, USB-C cable, headphones, plug, papers and shit. Oh, that's nice. This is a little um, case uh, or bumper. This is probably an adapter for a mini U uh, micro USB to USB-C and Oh, this is cool. A keychain with a pin, so you can eject your SIM card easily. Okay, let's put this aside. Oh, by the way, um, this Indian site, Tech360, he stole two of my videos and put it on his channel. So if you're watching this, Mr. Tech360, um, you're welcome to steal this one too, but at least give me credit, like link back to my page or something. And also tomorrow, I'm getting uh, Vivo's new phone, um, the X-Play 6. So I'm excited about that. Let me set up the information and I will be back really quick. Okay, so I just set up um, my stuff. The fingerprint sensor is really fast. It's on the back, like, oh gee, let's peel this off. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, it looks pretty much like stock Android. So um, this phone has pretty good specs as mentioned. Snapdragon 820, four gigs of RAM. The, um, the back camera is 20 megapixels. And the, f let's see. So these are the capacitor buttons. They're a bit close together, which I kind of like. So that means you won't touch them when you accidentally move your palm. But what makes this phone, what makes this phone stand out is probably the front facing speaker and, and the price obviously. So let's give it a try really quick. Yeah, YouTube is already here. Oh right, shit. Right, I'm gonna update really quick, I'll pause this. Okay, so while YouTube's updating, let's take a look at the menu. I like that you can swipe from anywhere on the screen to bring down the notification because I think it's really annoying when phones force you to do it from the top only. Because, you know, phones nowadays are pretty big, so on a Samsung or an iPhone, you can't bring down a notification by doing this. You have to do this, and that's pretty hard to do with one hand when you're walking in the street, so that's cool. And the setting page is pretty clean, which I like. But can you search? I don't think you can. Oh, you can search here. Yeah. I think there are some gestures. Yeah, I saw this on a... So you double t double tap the screen to to wake up, which I like a lot. Three finger pinch a screenshot. I'll probably leave that off. Um, stuff like shake to turn on the flashlight. It's pretty gimmicky, so I'm not gonna do it. So I think YouTube might be ready now. Let's go. Still. Alright. Uh, I'll pause it and come back. Okay, it's ready. So, wait seriously? Okay. Um, let's try out other phones YouTube. So what I'm going to do is play songs on the Xiaomi Mi Note 2 and the Huawei Mate 9 Pro and then play on this just to test the speaker. So let's do, turn on max volume. Alright. This is only a bottom speaker here. Yeah, not that great sound on the speaker on the Xiaomi Mi Note 2. It's passable. 
This is the Huawei. It actually has a stereo speaker. It's still mostly comes from the bottom, but a little bit up top. Whereas this one, it only comes from the bottom. Right, so a little bit deeper, but it's still pretty flat. Let's try. Front facing speaker, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the phone to max. Skip the Huawei I try again. Xiaomi. ZTE again. This is a lot louder. So the front facing speakers definitely um, give better sound than just about any other phone on the market right now. Other than, you know, like the Nexus 6P, which also has front facing front face speakers. Let's see, anything else? Um, this phone comes with Marshmallow in the box, but as you can see, there's a software update already. So I might be able to get New God, but we'll see. I will, I will um, do another unboxing video tomorrow when I get the Vivo X Play 6. And if you want to read my review of this phone, please click on the link below. I will. I won't have a review up yet. Um, obviously, maybe in a week. So please check back if you're interested. Thanks for watching.